Greetings everyone, in today's video, we will quickly learn how you can install Tortoise TTS on your Windows computer. Now, we will be installing this Tortoise TTS to our Windows 11 PC. This one is developed by James Betka. Anyway, to install this, we will use Anaconda. For those who do not have Anaconda, simply Google Anaconda. And this is the official website. Simply download this and install it to your computer. We have already downloaded and installed Anaconda to save time. So I will close this. After downloading and installing Anaconda, also download these files. Click on code and download zip so it will be downloaded as a zip file. I have downloaded this one too and it is on my download folder. So here is the file. Open this and then extract this to the desktop. So here are all our files. And this is the Anaconda installation which I have already installed. After doing this, if you go to the start menu and type Anaconda, you will see Anaconda prompt. Open this. Now the first thing we need to do is create a Python environment. For that, simply type Conda create dash n, give any name you want, I will write TTS. Python is equal to 3.9. We have tested with Python 3.9 and it works all good. So we will recommend this version. Anyway, and hit enter. Yes, and enter. So the Python environment with 3.9 version has been created. So let's activate this. Type conda activate TTS. So you will see this base name will change to TTS. I will type CLS to clear all this. Let me minimize this. Open the GitHub page. You can find all the installation instructions here. So let's first install PyTorch. Open this in new tab. And now select as per your PC. PyTorch build, choose stable, OS, choose Windows, package, you can either use PIP or Conda. I will use Conda. Language is Python platform, I will use CPU since this PC has no graphics card. If you have NVIDIA graphics, choose CUDA 11.7 or 11.8 as per your PC. For us, we will use CPU. Now copy this and paste it here and enter. So this is done. I will clear this so it looks clean. After installing this, close this. Before running these requirements, Install PySound file. Copy this and paste it here. All done. Now let's run this requirement text. We need to make few edits to do this. Open the totals folder and open requirements. And in here, remove this Numba which is twice here and also remove this LVM light. If required, we will install Numa manually. Save this and it is done. Now navigate where our tortoise folder is, type CD. We will navigate here, copy and paste. So we are inside this folder. Now run pip install r requirements.txt So it is done. Now also run this setup.py. Copy this and paste it here. So it is all done. Now let's see if this works or not. We need to run this command. Basically, it will use this text and we will use a random voice and the preset is fast. You can change the voice and as well the preset as per your requirements. To explain better, go inside tortoise folder, open this api.py file. I will use a notepad and search fast.
So you can use ultra fast as you can read it here. Use fast for decent quality, use standard for good quality and use high quality for absolute best. However, this will take less time compared to fast and high quality takes more time. For now, let's use fast. So let's copy this, paste it here. So the audio will have, I am going to speak this text. You can change it if you want. And for now, it will use random voices and uses fast preset. Please note, this will take quite a long time. So this has been done. Let's check results. Open the tortoise folder. Go to results. So here are the audio. Let me play them. I'm going to speak this. I'm going to speak this. I'm gonna speak this. These are the random audio. So you can use this audio. You can also use your own voice for it. For instance, here is my audio recording. So these are my own voices. All you have to do is copy this. And in the tortoise folder, go to tortoise and open voices. And simply paste it here. You can check all the audios and use them too. Anyway, let me clear this. Now let's try using our own voice. We need to run some command. Here is the command. Let me paste it in a notepad. You can write any text here. And we will use our own voice. In order to do that, we can use this voice is equal to directory name. So write is equal to and the folder name. Make sure to have the exact name of the folder. Copy the exact name and paste it here. I will use the preset fast. You can also use high quality but it will take some time. Now copy this code and then paste it here. Please note this process will take a very long time. So this has been done. Now let's check the results. And here is our audio. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel. It does not exactly sound like my voice, possibly because my accent is different, but please give it a try. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.